Imagine standing in the middle of a vast stretch of land that was once nothing but dirt, farmland, and empty skies. And now, 10 years later, it's filled with glittering skyscrapers, wide highways, and millions of people living, working, and dreaming in a city that didn't even exist on the map a decade ago. That's not science fiction, that's China. And this is the unbelievable story of how one country managed to build cities bigger than New York in less time than it takes most nations to finish a single airport. Before we get into this, consider subscribing if you enjoy learning about the world's most mind-blowing transformations. It helps the channel grow, and you'll never miss stories like this again. Also, drop a comment below. Which Chinese city do you think rose the fastest? In the early 2000s, China's leaders faced a massive challenge. How to house and employ hundreds of millions of people moving from rural villages into urban areas. The scale was overwhelming. Cities like New York, London, or Paris had centuries to develop their skylines. China didn't have that luxury. It had to urbanize at lightning speed. And so, the country launched one of the most ambitious construction drives in human history. In just a few short years, entire cities like Shenzhen, Tianjin, and Chengdu were transformed from fishing villages or empty plains into sprawling urban jungles filled with glass towers, bullet trains, and superhighways. Imagine watching farmland turn into a skyline. That's exactly what happened. Shenzhen, for example, was once a small town with 30,000 residents. Now it's home to more than 17 million people a global tech hub rivaling Silicon Valley. To understand how China built so fast, you have to understand its system. The Chinese government doesn't just plan a city, it designs a vision. The master plans for new urban centers stretch decades into the future, mapping everything from roads to parks to school districts before the first brick is even laid. Construction companies, many state-owned, work around the clock. The supply chains are optimized like a military operation, if a skyscraper needs 100,000 tons of steel, it's already waiting on site. If a subway line has to run beneath an existing highway, the engineers are already designing ways to make it happen without delay. Time is everything. In 2015 alone, China used more cement in three years than the United States used in the entire 20th century. Just let that sink in. Three years versus 100. That's not just construction, that's industrial acceleration on a level the world has never seen. Let's talk about Xiongan New Area, a name you might not have heard, but one that represents the future of China's urban ambition. Announced in 2017, Xiongan is being built from scratch about 100 kilometers south of Beijing. It's often described as China's city of the future, and for good reason. Planned to cover more than 2,000 square kilometers, it's roughly the size of New York City, and it's being constructed to host millions of people while serving as a hub for innovation, sustainability, and cutting-edge design. Within a decade, what was once farmland is now a dense network of smart roads, green buildings, and high-speed railways that connect it directly to Beijing in under 30 minutes. Every building is digitally mapped, and AI-driven systems manage energy use, traffic flow, and even waste disposal. What's shocking isn't just how big Zhongan is, but how fast it's rising. Drone footage from 2017 to 2025 shows the transformation from a few scattered villages to a futuristic skyline. The kind of time lapse that feels unreal. So how do they actually do it? How does China go from blueprints to functioning cities so quickly? The answer lies in its ability to scale and centralize. First, China standardized its construction methods. Prefabricated buildings, modular designs, and advanced cranes allowed developers to erect entire skyscrapers in a matter of weeks. There's a famous example from Changsha, where a 57-story skyscraper was built in just 19 days using modular steel and pre-made components. It's the kind of record-breaking feat that sounds exaggerated until you see the time-lapse. Second, China's infrastructure network supports this pace. Every new city is connected by highways, rail, and often airports before residents even move in. The logistics of moving millions of tons of materials are streamlined through state coordination. And third, the workforce, millions of construction workers and engineers working tirelessly, 
often living on site, is unmatched in size and organization. In most countries, such rapid development would get caught in bureaucracy or environmental review. In China, the process is streamlined, allowing massive projects to move from idea to reality in record time. When we talk about a city bigger than New York, we're not exaggerating. Cities like Chongqing, Chengdu, and Guangzhou have metropolitan populations that exceed 20 million people. Chongqing, in particular, covers an area larger than many countries. Its skyline looks like a science fiction movie set. Glowing bridges, twisting skyscrapers, and the famous Raffles City Complex, a futuristic structure that looks like a ship sailing through the clouds. At night, the city glows with neon lights reflecting off the Yangtze River, a scene that feels both surreal and alive. What's more remarkable is how connected these cities are. High-speed trains traveling over 350 kilometers per hour link major hubs like Shanghai, Beijing, and Shenzhen. That means a journey that once took a day can now be done in a few hours. China's entire east coast feels like one giant connected megacity, an urban corridor that's home to over 100 million people, all within a few hours' reach of each other. Behind every gleaming tower is a human story. Millions of workers left their hometowns to build these megacities. Many lived on site for years, sending money back home to support families in faraway provinces. Entire generations have grown up watching their surroundings change overnight. For some, it's inspiring, a symbol of opportunity and national pride. For others, it's bittersweet. The rapid expansion has displaced villages, erased old neighborhoods, and sometimes left ghost cities, places built ahead of demand, waiting for residents who might never come. Still, the government argues that these developments are long-term investments, not failures. Ghost cities like Ordos in Inner Mongolia, once mocked by Western media, have slowly started to fill as industries and populations shift. What was once called wasteful is now being reinterpreted as strategic foresight. China's next generation cities aren't just massive, they're intelligent. Using AI, big data, and IoT systems, new cities like Xiong'an and Shenzhen operate with integrated technology that monitors air quality, manages traffic in real time, and optimizes energy use. Surveillance cameras are part of this network, ensuring public safety, but also sparking debates about privacy. At the same time, these technologies make life smoother. Residents can pay for groceries, rides, and rent through one app, often WeChat or Alipay. Smart streetlights, electric buses, and self-driving taxis are becoming the norm. What sets China apart isn't just its willingness to innovate, but its speed in implementing those innovations. A project that might take a decade to approve elsewhere can be tested and deployed within a year. The result is an urban environment that feels like a glimpse of the future, efficient, automated, and constantly evolving. Of course, such rapid expansion comes with a price. Air pollution, deforestation, and waste management became serious issues as the nation urbanized. China was once home to some of the most polluted cities on earth. But in recent years, the government has made an aggressive push toward green development. Solar panels now cover rooftops, electric vehicles dominate city streets, and green architecture has become a standard rather than a luxury. The city of Shenzhen, for example, became the first in the world to convert its entire public bus fleet to electric. Massive reforestation projects and renewable energy grids aim to offset the environmental cost of development. In Xiong'an, sustainability isn't just a goal, it's a requirement. Buildings are designed to reduce carbon footprints and smart water systems recycle and purify runoff to minimize waste. China's shift from pure speed to sustainable speed may be its most impressive evolution yet. As the skylines rise, so does a new culture. Modern Chinese cities blend global architecture with traditional aesthetics. Ancient pagoda-inspired designs meet futuristic glass towers. Streets buzz with cafes, e-scooters, and high-tech malls. But beneath the modern facade, there's a tension between tradition and progress. Old hutongs in Beijing are being demolished to make way for glass towers, and younger generations are growing up more familiar with tech brands than ancient festivals. It's a trade-off that mirrors the country's rapid modernization. Yet for many citizens, it's a source of pride. To them, these cities symbolize a new China. 
powerful, modern, and unafraid to redefine what's possible. So, what does this mean for the rest of the world? China's urban miracle shows what can happen when planning, technology, and ambition align. It proves that cities don't have to take centuries to grow. They can be built efficiently, intelligently, and at scale. But it also serves as a warning. Speed without sustainability can lead to environmental and social challenges that linger for decades. Still, there's no denying the awe of what's been achieved. The sheer scale, coordination, and vision behind China's mega projects are unmatched in human history. If the last 10 years were about speed, the next 10 will be about refinement. China's new frontier is the smart green city where technology and nature coexist. Vertical forests, underground transportation, and AI-powered city management are already being tested. The line between physical and digital infrastructure is blurring. Cities will soon not only respond to human behavior, but predict it. And as the world grapples with population growth and climate change, many countries are watching China's urban experiment closely. Whether they choose to follow or not, one thing is certain. The blueprint for the future of cities is being drawn right now in China. So the next time you look at a skyline and think about how long it must have taken to build, remember this. Somewhere in China, another city is already rising, bigger, faster, and smarter than the last. What took New York centuries, China is now doing in a decade. It's more than construction, it's transformation on a national scale. What do you think? Is this the future of urban life? or are we moving too fast? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this story as fascinating as I did, consider subscribing. We've got more eye-opening stories coming that'll make you see the world differently. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.